Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful bow in just a few simple steps. To make this bow, you'll need to use wired ribbon. I'll unravel the ribbon just a little bit to give yourself some to work with. And make sure you don't trim the ribbon from the spool because you'll want to wait till you're done with your bow before you do that. And once you get your tail hanging about 12 inches, you're going to make your first loop, make about a, a three inch loop and pinch it together. This is the center of your bow. Now you have your tail that's connected to the spool and then your tail that's hanging over here. Keep them separate. And once you pinch this together, you're going to want to twist that loop. This kind of seals it off. And once you get it nice and tight, you're going to start to make the other loops on your bow. So unravel a little bit more and create your first loop. I'm going to tuck this one under and it's going to be about approximately an inch longer than the center of your bow. Bring it underneath my first pinch and pinch it again. Now I'm going to pull more of my tail out. Now the print on our ribbon has flipped. So we want to make sure while we're pinching to twist the ribbon again to bring that print back on top. So now you're going to make the other side of your loop. Make it match this side. Again, pinch and twist. A good idea to keep your forefinger and your thumb right here to hold on to all of your loops. And you're going to repeat this process, making each loop slightly larger than the last on each side. This particular bow has four loops on each side, but you can make yours as big and full as you like. Just remember to make each loop a little bit longer than the last. I'm going to make my final pinch and twist. And then hold on tight. You're going to unravel about 12 more inches from your spool and trim that with your scissors. So now you have both your tails and you're still holding on in the middle. And the way to seal off your bow is with a chenille stem. So loop this chenille stem through the middle of your center loop and then pull it down underneath all of your pinches and twist tight. You can use this chenille stem to adhere your bow to a garland or on your Christmas tree. So it's really helpful. Now I like to make sure my tails are facing forward, the print on top, and just give them a quick trim. If you fold it in half and then cut at an angle, we get a really dec decorative tail. And your last step is to go back and fluff all of your loops. I like to twist and pull them opposite directions to make a nice well-rounded bow. Don't worry if it looks a little messy, just keep working it and your bow will be beautiful before you know it.